Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad and in this video of Power BI, I'm going to talk about how to change the join type or the merge type in a Power Query merge transformation. Let's see how it is possible. When you combine two datasets together, when you combine two tables together, it depends on what the outcome you want to be, you can choose different types of join and merge. Uh, this video is not uh, long enough to explain all of those different types of joins. I'll have other videos later on explaining each type of join separately and how you can use it in which scenario. In this video, I'm only talking about uh, where is the place that you can change the join type. So here I have a Power BI uh, report file. This Power BI report file has actually four tables now loaded in Power Query Editor. Let's say I want to merge these three tables together. Uh, when you combine tables in Power BI, one of the ways is to merge. And I can start by merging product category to subcategory. Each category might have multiple subcategories in it. Um, I can select this and go to the uh, merge queries. I'll do that as a new query, merge query as new, because that will create a new one, will keep the existing one intact. Then I'll con uh, join this with the subcategory, so product category and subcategory merged based on the product category key here and product category key over there. You can download this Adventure Works dataset uh, from uh, Radicat blog. Uh, link to this specific blog is down in the description below. Um, now, when you merge these together, this is a place that you can go and change the join kind. The default join type is left author, which means all rows from the first, matching from the second. Now I'm going to use that default one, but then I'll show you what is the difference when we change it. So I'll go ahead with this and I click on OK. This will create a new column. That column would be like a sub table for each of these. Like for example, for bikes, I'll see the subcategories of bikes, this is subcategories of components. To get this sub table, you need to click somewhere blank in this cell, not on the table itself, uh, and, and so on. Now I'm going to remove some of the columns that I don't need here. I'm just keeping the English product category name and removing these columns. Then I expand this and let's say from here I get only subcategory name and subcategory key because I want to merge this then to the product table. So I do one more time merge to the product table this time and based on product subcategory key. And again, I go ahead with the left other join. Uh, so this is now uh, products under each subcategory. I don't need this anymore and I'll expand this to products. But let's say for this, uh, for simplicity, I just get the English product name for now, right? So this is a table of all products. Now I have product name, subcategory name and, sub and category name, product subcategory and category all in one table. Merge is good to connect tables when they are in, um, like sometimes they are in different granularity, sometimes they are not, but when they are separated from each other, it connects them together. So then you can have one table flatten the structure of all of these. Then I won't really need those three tables. I can have this table, I call this product, and I can connect it directly to my sales table. I would have much simpler model. I have explained this already in many uh, basics of data modeling, so won't go again through uh, building a star schema and things like that. The main point here for me is to explain what is like the merge type or join type and how you can change it. Uh, if I look at the this combined result, the number of records that this table has should match the number of records that we have in product table. So here I have 397 rows. And in the product table, when I look at it, that has 606 rows. So it means that the combined result does not include all the products. Some of the products are missing. 
And the reason for that is that because not every product belong to a subcategory, here you can see some of them. There are many products without a subcategory key. Their subcategory key is null. Now, when we use that default type of uh, merge, the default type of merge or the default type of join is, um, is actually saying that it is left join. Let me just show you that is the very first step we have done here. When I click on that setting of that step, because I set that as merge as new, so it comes as a new query with the source step. Here I see that the default is left author join. Left author join means that all records from the first table matching from the second. But if I have a record in the second table that does not match to the first table, that would be removed from the result. Now we don't have any subcategory that doesn't have any category, but we do have products without subcategory. So that means the second join, the second merge that I have here, which is this merge, because I have done the merge operation two times. This is when I merged the category subcategory together to the product. I click on that. And here you can see actually that we have some product subcategories null. And then I can change this join kind. Uh, the explanation inside these uh, parentheses, inside the brackets, is quite helpful. So if you don't know what left author, right author, inner, left anti is, you can just read inside the parentheses. So if I want to get all rows, I can choose this. Now in this example, if I choose right author and full author, they would be the same um, because this is a table that has uh, unmatching rows in the other one, not the other one into this one. Uh, but just for simplicity, I'll select full author and click OK. Now when I click on the last step, I see that I have 606 rows. I would have a lot of category subcategory values null because there are many products without subcategory as a result without category. But then I have many products with those information as well. So as I said, I'm not explaining what is each type of join. That is a separate video, a set of separate videos. I'm going to explain in each what each type of merge, each type of join is doing and what scenarios they are good for. This was just an example about how to change it in the scenarios that you want to change it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.